Good morning, or good afternoon, everyone. The title we have chosen for our 2020 Corporate Social Responsibility Report couldn't be more apt. These unprecedented times have made all of us realize what a tremendous responsibility we have as a leading global pharmacy retailer and distributor in providing an essential public service within the communities we serve. With the CSR agenda taking center stage in the boardrooms of the world and becoming increasingly integrated into business strategy, investors pay more attention than in the past to the responsibilities a company holds to the public and not just shareholders. Reinforcing ourselves as a caring corporate citizen and operating sustainability for people and the planet becomes imperative at all time, not only in time of crisis. Of course, as a result of the COVID crisis, some key issues have come even more clearly under the spotlight with the inevitable disruptions to global supply chains, for example, consumers demand a better understanding of where products come from. As they want to know that what they see, it's what they get. Transparency, traceability, accountability, top certification and quality standards will be even more imperative in COVID and post-COVID times. The pandemic has dramatically exposed the stark inequalities within and between countries, which I am afraid will be further accelerated by the economic impact of the pandemic. The expected global downturn could push millions into poverty in the next few years, as well as disproportionately impact those in low income groups and poor countries. With uh, producers uh, lose income, the risk of uh, child labor, forced labor, and uh, other human rights abuses in global supply chains becomes greater. But this goes beyond the supply chains. When it comes to inequalities, let me say this is an overarching concerning matter for our societies. One I am particularly worried about, and I do believe corporates should take more seriously than they have done in the past. I wish we all realize that the working toward the reduction of inequality is in everyone's interest, even when this is not economically convenient in the short term. The fight against COVID-19 must not distract us from tackling what is by definition the existential problem for humanity in the 21st century, climate change. If anything, the disruption brought by the pandemic resulted in climate change moving a long way up the political agenda we have an enormous opportunity to rethink the future. Take renewables, for example. According to the International Energy Agency's newly published Global Energy Report, emissions had been forecast to grow 1% in 2020 and uh, will likely be down almost 8% this year. We must seize this unique chance arising with the pandemic to speed energy transition. Last, but by no means least, as a caring corporate citizen, we aim to be an example of diversity and respect. A worldwide quest for racial equity emerged strongly in 2020. We responded by making clear that our company values racial injustice, listening to our diverse employees regarding their needs and bolstering our already robust diversity, equity and inclusion initiatives. Our board of directors 
has increased its own diversity and the board's compensation and leadership committee has approved linking a portion of incentive pay to performance on our DEI goals. So, thanks to our partners and colleagues, their loyalty, generosity and dedication have made and keep on making such a positive difference.